Good evening, welcome to We Repair. Uh, so tonight I am repairing a rather battered PS2. Um, so we've got an issue with the tray where it's stuck and will not come out any further. Um, it's obviously pretty well gunked up. And uh, the, I don't know if you can see that, the AV port is completely knackered. Um, so tonight in this video, I'm gonna just be repairing the CD drive. I'm not going to do the whole thing, there'll be a part two for repairing of the AV port and, um, and we'll do like a, a longer full restore one. So first things first, I'm going to take the, um, the network port bit off the back and get this case open and we will go from there. So let's grab a screwdriver and get going. So first things first, we need to get this network card off the back. Now, I've not taken one of these apart before, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. I'm hoping it's fairly plain sailing, though. Pass that off. And there's no hard drive in there, so that'll be a nice little upgrade for later. So, let's take the feet out. Now by the looks of it, I think it's been taken apart before, so this is going to be a little bit of a restore one as well. And there's two pads at this end that just come out. Swap to a separate screwdriver, and we will take all these screws out. Now from what I've been told, these screws are the long ones, and then there should be two short ones down the far end. Those were the short ones. Last two. Just flip it over to get those last two screws out. There's one. And there's two. So, there should be a warranty sticker here that is seemingly long gone, so I'd say someone's been in this already. There's also, I believe, a ribbon cable that's around here, so we need to just be careful as we lift this off. So let's just try as carefully as we can. I think connects the power of home button. drive out but this is pretty pretty disgusting as well so uh, I think there's going to be a secondary cleaning video at this point and parcel so we'll just undo these four screws and get this Xbox top case off the CD drive and see what's going on Now I have already tested this to make sure it turns on. It does turn on absolutely fine. Put that to one side. We'll just grab the power lead and get that plugged in. Let's plug that one in there. Let's be careful when you're doing this. Obviously we've got the case open and we are going to be working on it live and plugged in. So let's see what happens at the moment. So there you go, that's all we get. Just a little bit of movement on the CD drive. Not a lot. It doesn't want to come across as we press the button. Let's just flick this back off again and unplug it as for safety. 
few screws out of the way. So let's have a look and see what's going on in here. We'll just give this one more go with the top cover off, just so that we've seen what's what. I can get the actual power lead plugged in. So it does almost want to go. But it is absolutely jammed in there. See if we can get this tray out. God, this is disgusting. Let's have a look at this and just see if we can see a way to maneuver this one out. How it actually comes out, so hopefully it will. Another couple of screws here, so I'm just going to undo those and see what that happens, see what that does for us. Okay, well, we got a bit of broken bit of plastic in there, so I don't know <laughs> if that is part of the drive tray. I can't see any anything else constricting it. Just pop this back in again. Mistake. I think it's just, oh look, I don't know if you can see that on there, there's a little bit of plastic just snapped off there. So I think this little white peg has come out of there. Let's just see, well it's not the same size anyway so I don't know where that bit of plastic's come from. Let's just see, let's take this all the way back. So I think that's the in position. So that must be the out position. So does that line up with, I think that must line up with there. So let's just swap this back in. Drop that all the way back. Okay. So that in theory is now all the way out. Let's just screw those screws back in again and see if it wants to play. But I think I'm going to have to buy a new CD tray to fix this. And the front snapped anyway, so uh, let's just give that another go. Okay. That the 
does appear to work fine, though. Maybe I'm okay with oh, I would not on there. I'm a little bit surprised that's not sliding. Okay, well, let's turn it back off. Let's pop the top back on and just see if it ejects properly now. Obviously, we've got the top of the CD tray. Look at that, that's really gunky. We'll take this all apart properly in the next video and we'll give it a really good clean. That's brilliant, I'm really pleased with that. Do this back up properly in a minute. Let's just turn it back on. Eject the drive. And there we go. That is one perfectly fixed PlayStation 2 CD drive. So other than the fact it does look pretty ropey, if you can see how bad that looks with all the damage and stuff up here. So what we will do in the next video, I will do a complete teardown of this PlayStation. Ooh. So yeah, in the next video I'll do a complete teardown of this PlayStation. We'll give it a good clean throughout. We'll sort the case out. We'll get a new drive front on there and get that fixed. And uh, we'll make this looking as good as it can be. And we will also solder on a brand new port because we don't need it looking like this down here. I don't know if you can see that there, let it focus. So that's pretty ropey. So that's our next video after this one. So for the meantime, I'm going to pop all these screws back in and button it up just for the moment, just so I can do a proper test of it. And then in our next video, we will get it repaired. Um, my other one to watch is at the minute we are giving away a Acer laptop. Um, if you'd be interested in that or uh, you like the channel, please subscribe, drop us a like, press the bell icon um, and, and watch our other videos really. Uh, the more you can do to support us, the better. And uh, yeah, we will uh, keep making as good a content as possible. All right, well, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.